Welcome. Welcome back, guys. This is going to be a collective read. Whatever pops out, that's what we're going to talk about. All right. I am using the In My Feelings deck um, by Straight From The Heart. And let's get a message from the Divine Masculine. This masculine is very emotional, okay? On the outside, this masculine loves to show like this superior, um, I got this all together type of energy, but deep down inside, they are emotional wreck, okay? They are an emotional wreck. The reason why this masculine is an emotional wreck is because this cycle has closed, okay? This divine... This divine connection, it has fizzled out, okay? And he's emotional about it. And I feel like he's hiding how he truly, truly feels, okay? He's hiding it. This masculine still views you as a soulmate. Okay, this masculine knows what this divine feminine energy can do. Okay, he knows that. Okay, and he is still attached to that feeling, to the fact that knowing that you're very divine. Okay, you were sent to him as a counterpart, and y'all are soulmates. Okay, you're this man's happy place. Okay, but there is something about. You could be on a spiritual journey, okay? You could be on a different path than um, this masculine right now, okay? This masculine wants to do this, and you want to do this, okay? So you guys could definitely be in separation, okay? Whatever this journey that you are on, you are seeking victory. This masculine is watching you from a distance. And he sees that this journey that you are on, you're being victorious in it. And this completely upsets this masculine. This completely upsets them. This masculine is mad. You hear me? Mad and sad at the same time. Because he done lost his divine feminine, his soulmate. This person has an attachment to you. They're addicted to you. This masculine... Um, just can't go on this particular journey with you. Okay, this masculine can't go on this particular journey. All right, so he has the karmic. We got, shh, he got a secret, okay? He met a karmic at a party. Okay, he was trying to clear his head. And he went home with this karmic. He went home with this karmic. He was nervous, very cautious. But, you know, it started getting playful. And it started to release. He started to release that tense energy and anxiety that he had in the situation that he had going on with you. So this karmic came in and helped him soothe his anxieties, his worries that he was having um, with the divine feminine. So the more this karmic started to get this masculine very comfortable, relaxed, you know, they may drink, they may smoke, they may have a good time together. This caused this masculine to you know, possibly fall in love because now he indecisive. He don't know who he wants now. He doesn't know. He's got, he's veered off of his divine path. And he's starting to feel, he's starting to feel guilty about it. See, he let his ego get in the way. He let his ego get in the way. Now he's sitting here reminiscing about you, reminiscing about the good times, looking back at pictures. It could damn near bring him to tears. This masculine could be spending time alone looking at old things and actually sitting here crying.
But now they're dealing with this karmic. They have to remain calm. Like, they have to remain like they're unbothered, okay? When really, they this person may smoke a lot, okay? They may go out a lot. They may drink a lot. Because you got celebration. Like, this, this masculine does a lot to clear his head, okay? To kind of, like, try to remain calm and try to keep on this poker face. But really and truly, truly, this masculine is upset. And I feel like this masculine is more upset with his self. I feel like this masculine is more upset with his self. I feel like you're living this life. And you're very content. And happy. This is what is upsetting this, this masculine. I feel like this masculine is wondering if you miss them, how they miss you. What does this masculine want to say to survive uh, him? I wish I could take back my words. This masculine definitely uh, loves you unconditionally. But this masculine could have tried to leave you before you left them. Um, and I feel like right now, either you're not available to this, to this masculine or this masculine is hiding from you. They said some things that they wish they could take back. I want to see, what did this mask going to say? I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could take back my words. What did this mask going to say to the feminine? To the vibe? What did he say? So, yeah, the truth came out. He spoke his truth about his karmic. He could have told you that he was in a relationship with his karmic. He could have told you that he was walking away from this connection here to go be with the karmic. This masculine was very cocky with it. He was arrogant with it because we got self-indulgence. And he definitely was trying to be a mirror, hold up a mirror to you. Hmm. So he's wishing that he could take back those words. He wish he would never say that. Hmm. He wish he would never, ever say that. What else does this masculine want to say to the bottom man? I wish I had treated you better. So many things remind me of you. And sometimes I stay away thinking about you. So this masculine, <laughs> they can't get you off their mind. Like I said, we got reminiscing you. They're thinking about you a lot. You're on this masculine's mind a whole lot. They're just sitting here wishing that they would have treated you better. Um, everything that they can hear a song and it reminds them of you. They can just be up, laying next to this corn meat, but sitting there thinking about you. This masculine knows that they need to work on themselves. Like this masculine knows for a fact that he needs to work on himself because he needs to become a better person to even come around you, be around you, be with you. So this masculine here, they're kind of like standing back. They, they're kind of standing back because they're waiting for whatever sign from you. They're waiting for you to interact with them, give them some type of sign. And I feel like this masculine would drop his karmic in a heartbeat. 
because they are already regretting that they even had to tell you that they're already regretting that it went down the way it did They're already regretting that. Let's use these. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody, with somebody who loves me. And Max would say, he don't want that karmic. He don't love that karmic. That karmic don't love him like how you do. <laughs> All right, so tell me more. What does this masculine want to say to Divine Feminine? Give me a quick message. What does this masculine want to say to Divine Feminine? What is this masculine? What does this masculine want to say to the divine feminine? This masculine, we got the fool and the lovers, okay? We got the moon and the tower. Yep, and the ace of swords. This masculine told you that they fell in love with their karmic. We got the ace of swords, the tower. This was very surprising. This was very shocking. And this was a secret that this masculine was keeping away. This masculine felt like you weren't putting in enough of the effort um, to see. But now he's sitting up here regretting that he told you that. I'm here and giving you some space. King of Wands, the Temperance, Death, King of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Four of Cups. This masculine knows that they fucked up. And they know that they have to change. They know that they have to transform themselves to even be in your presence. This masculine felt like they can't keep you happy, like they can't keep you satisfied. I feel like it's sexually as well too. Because we got the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands too. Yeah. This person may, like, they may come too quick. They may come too fast. Um, why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, this masculine wants more from you. This masculine want more, wanted more. But see, he had a side, the moon and the queen of wands. Um, he wanted this side piece to go harder or give more. Um, he didn't realize that it was going, like there was going to be a split, like a split up, like a real deal split up. This masculine thought that you was going to understand where it was coming from. But I feel like you didn't expect for this masculine to tell you that they fell in love. Like, you you felt like that was too far. This masculine got friends. 
that treat their females like this and they get away with it. You wasn't you wasn't going for that. Why is temperance here? It'd be a Sagittarius. Yeah, this this masculine wanted to surprise you. They wanted to surprise you. They wanted to. They wanted to. They wanted the tower to fall on you. They wanted the tower to fall on you. They wanted to give you something to talk about. I feel like ten of swords and knight of cups. You wasn't like. You wasn't answering their phone calls, or you could have been ignoring them. Yeah, this person wanted the tower to fall on you. And now they're sitting here regretting it. This masculine did not think that you was going to leave. This masculine did not think that you was going to leave. Like, they didn't think that. They really didn't. So now they're sitting over here soaking. Now they're sitting over here soaking. All in their feelings mad. Because you're not paying them no attention. They can't get your attention. They cannot get your attention. Four of Cups and the Six of Wands. They don't even know how to get your attention anymore. They don't, they, you're not paying this person no attention. This mess gonna feel like you're keeping all your business on the low. Like you're not as you're not an open book. Okay, you're not an open book. Yeah. I feel like you you believed this masculine. When he said what he said, you believed it. And you yep. You feel like, oh, you fell in love with somebody else. Okay, wow. Yep, you felt like it was the truth. This could have broke your heart. Okay, this could have broke your heart. But you checked, you chucked it up, and you moved on. You got out the way. You got out this person's way. You got out of this person's way. Okay, now we got the Ten of Swords. This person can't wait for their chance to be around you again, be with you, fix this situation. They can't wait. This person full of energy too. But I'm getting you're rejecting this person's calls. This person doesn't know how to get in contact with you. This person doesn't know how to get you to come back around them. So they just gotta wait. They just gotta wait. They gotta wait. They gotta wait. But in the meantime, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Okay? They are doing their thing. And they say they're gonna talk about it. They're gonna talk about it with you. You know, they gonna when when y'all get back together, y'all come around each other. Y'all, you know, bring your energies back around. They want to have a conversation with you. They know that when you walked out, they broke your heart. And they are regretting it. They are regretting it. They regret it. They feel like they should have planned it out better. Because it went to the left. Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. And at the time, they felt like that what they had going on on the side, they felt like it was better. But now they regret. They regretting it. They regretting it. They regretting it. They regretting it. They are regretting it. They thought that grass was greener. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. <laughs> Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.